All right, this video is inspired by a video I watched earlier today, and um, it was how to make the Pittsburgh lock easier and how to make it with um, a uh, sheet metal brake. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow, instead of an inch and a half on the, on the video I watched, I'm gonna do one inch, because that's the allowance of a uh, small Pittsburgh. So I'm gonna go ahead and score these sides. I'm gonna go one inch, one inch. Now my brake is one that's been in the family for a while and it has a 3 8 bottom leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it in. I'm going to clamp it right down onto that one inch that I just scribed. Then I'm just going to simply take my mallet and I'm going to beat. Beat that down to um, a 90 degree and virtually it's the same. We're going to come all the way back up like that and that kind of gives us this Z pattern um, and then that's this is really the most difficult part is getting it to smash down now the easiest thing to do is kind of get one side smashed already open this end up get your your material positioned in there and if it takes a few smashes that's fine um, I'm using a lighter gauge and the best way in order to get something like this smashed down really is to put your knee up here keep the machine from tipping over and get it worked over and just do a little bit at a time makes it a whole lot easier for you and the metal you're working with so now we have part of our Pittsburgh if you can see that um, now what I like to do on top of that flip it back over and I clamp it right at 3 8 of an inch again to where my fold is at 3 8 of an inch and I'll smash this right back into the brake now what that does is it kicks it back out and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it level just to kind of get it to kick right back down now if you've ever seen a piece of uh, metal that's gone through a, a Pittsburgh you know that that looks darn near exactly like it. It has a little kick in there so that you're offset back into your metal at this side and you're ready to roll.